Guys, this weight on my shoulders has just been so heavy. And I really got to level with you. Okay guys, we've got a ton of levels here. There's a lot to look at. So we're gonna just move them all out of the way and focus on them one by one. So the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is arguably the worst. And it's this two directional, like really cheap, almost 3D printed plastic uh, level. These things are just crazy inaccurate. Don't be fooled by the convenience. Uh, they rarely give you a good reading and they give you different readings every time that you use them. So um, while it would be convenient to have two of these going at the same time, it's very easy to confuse these and get bad readings. So I really don't recommend using them uh, ever. You can just take any of the other levels in this video and put them in multiple positions to check levels both ways. Uh, and that would be far preferable to the poor performance that something like this is going to give you. So as far as a laser application goes, I probably wouldn't recommend these very much. The next one I wanna talk about is this Johnson. It, it says on it, Johnson 555. You can find these on Amazon. They're usually a buck or two a piece. Uh, and I have just a bunch of these all over the shop. I use them pretty regularly. And while they don't offer the best accuracy, uh, they are inexpensive. So I don't mind losing them. I don't mind, you know, breaking one. Uh, in whatever situation I might actually break one of these, I don't even know. The point is they're expendable and they do the job for most things. When I'm just throwing a piece of material onto the laser for a quick mark like an anodized aluminum or steel mark, uh, you know, this usually does the trick and uh, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. So grab a couple of these, two or three bucks, whatever, forget about it and done. The next kind of level I wanna talk about are these little disc levels. And these are great for sheet material. Uh, they're not the most accurate levels in the entire world, but being able to spread them out over a wider surface really gives you an advantage when you can look down and see leveled points on all corners of your material. This is great for flat stock and things like that. I use them very often in the CO2. Again, not the most accurate things in the world, but the convenience that they offer actually balances out with their performance on these. You can get them in a bunch of different sizes. They make little you know, half inch ones, they make little quarter inch ones. You get them in an inch or two inches. I, I don't know when you'd need a two inch one, but you can get them, they make them. And uh, so these things are great for those kind of situations. The last one that I want to talk about today is the Starrett. It's my baby. Uh, this thing is a workhorse. It's amazing. It's perfectly accurate. Every single time, I can always trust the Starrett to do its job. Whenever focus is paramount, this thing is what's on the table. Uh, a great example of when I use the Starrett over the others is for Z marking. When we're doing Z marking with the black mark on stainless, leveling and focus are the most important things and I don't trust anything else except for the Starrett to make sure that the job gets done on that. They're constructed great and they work great every single time but they are significantly more expensive. For the price of 15 of these simple Johnson levels you can buy one Starrett number 135 and that is because the Starrett right now on Amazon is $35. So this is not expendable. It's not something that you want to lose uh, but it's definitely something that you want to have in your arsenal uh, to make sure that you can break it out when you need it but give it a special place in your shop. Don't ever let it leave and the second you're done using it make sure it goes back uh, because this isn't a level that you want to lose. They make two different Starrett's. This is the two and a half version. They also make a three and a half inch version that's a little bit longer. It's also a little more difficult to find. So you may have a hard time finding that on Amazon. Uh, usually there's a weight. Um, you might be able to pick them up somewhere else, but at any rate, I like the two and a half inch one anyway. It does everything I need it to do, and I can't imagine what a difference an extra inch on the level would make uh, for this kind of application. So that's the Starrett number 135. One thing that I did just want to mention to you guys is that when you're leveling with these levels you don't want to level to the ground okay it doesn't matter if the bubble is in the middle of the lines on the level what matters is that it matches the level when placed on wherever your laser is coming from so for example when working with the fiber laser i would first take a level measurement of the head the galvo head of the laser uh, and i would see where the bubble is falling between the two lines and then i would level my material to make sure that those are the same it doesn't matter again if the bubble is right in the middle 
In a perfect world, you would make sure that your laser is level with ground so that the bubble sits right in the middle when you take that galvo head measurement, but that's just not always the case. The important thing to remember is that we want our laser to come straight down onto that material, and we know that it will be if our galvo head and our material are leveled with one another. Uh, so that's the goal. Anyway guys, I think I've talked long enough about levels today. If you learned a thing or two about levels, hit the like button, let me know you got value out of it, and leave a comment, let me know what kind of level you prefer. While you're down there, check out the link to our Patreon page. Our amazing patrons make this episode and every other episode that we do possible. They help us get better gear, they help us bring new items into the shop so we can talk about them for you here on the channel. And if you want to join those elite ranks, a link to the Patreon is down in the description right next to the link to our Discord where our amazing laser community resides. Uh, we talk about lasers, we show photos of our work, people are sharing settings and helping people get started. It's just an amazing place to be and I am so glad that it has just become such a positive place. I'm really proud of our members there. So if you're looking for a community where you can participate and feel valued for your input, the Discord is a place that you absolutely want to be. That's all I've got, guys. Thank you so much again for watching this episode. I really do appreciate you coming by to see us, and we will see you in the next one.